Welcome to 2004 Podcast Odyssey. I'm Javon Gordon. I'm Bobby DeVore. You ever thought about, um, we ever thought about, like, switching up our, uh, intro? What? Yeah. Let's say in a different tone? Or, like, do something. I mean, I haven't been editing in the song, like, the intro song, for, like, a couple years now. And to be honest with you, I don't even think I have it on my computer anymore. I think it's like... Why'd you stop? <laughs> I just, I, I just didn't, I, it was an extra step that I just didn't take. Oh. I just quit taking it at a certain point. We could, like, come up with, like, a, I don't know, we could refresh our podcast. Like, sit down, take a day, just kind of come up with shit. Renovate the show? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I don't see a problem with this intro. It's a traditional intro, but I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't run through the walls. This isn't, can't, can't do it. This isn't a visual <laughs> show. It's a podcast. Yeah, but I mean, like, we could, uh, I don't know, we could come up with, like, maybe not come up with something, but, like, we could, like. Want me to sing it? <clears throat> Welcome to 2004. Ooh. We need somebody that, like, has. Yeah. Uh, Let's get Brandy. <laughs> yeah. We have Brandy in here. Get your friend named Brandy. Yeah. Let's see if they can sing. Yeah. Um, we really should like take a day and like figure some like you know. Do you any ideas right now? <coughs> Same yeah. right now. <laughs> we could do like a pre-recorded intro. Yeah. Instead of like, because we do it the same almost all the time. Yeah. Unless we put a little gag in it. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Podcast Odyssey. Uh, <laughs> Just consistent glug glug <coughs> noises the entire time. Yeah. Actually, never saw the podcast. Just oops. Yes, I just hit my. Uh, just consistent glug glug noises. No podcast. Just yeah. that. Just like we should just eat a meal in total <laughs> silence together, but like put the mic closer to our mouths. Food ASMR. Yeah. Mukbang. <laughs> yeah. Dog. I swear to God. Uh, so I'm in a training class. I just started a new job, and it's a. Uh, basically, I'm gonna be phone. I'm gonna be uh, customer support. service. Yeah. I'm gonna be what? Customer service. Yeah, I'm going to be, like, on the phones for customer service. And so, the way they're teaching us, they're getting us used to, like, using the headsets and stuff. Yeah. Because we have to be, like, all spread out because of COVID and shit. And uh, they have, basically, a remote classroom is what I'm in. And um, so, we have, like, headphones with mics and we can communicate through, like, a chat or whatever. And uh, so, there's we have an old dude in my training class. He's, like, a wise old sage. He's, like, 58. He used to do radio. He was, like, a local radio dude mm-hmm. for years. He worked for iHeartRadio when they bought all the stations out. Until he got fired uh, for doing payola in the 60s. Oh, I don't know what payola is. Jesus Christ. All right. Please read history books so I can do... What's so payola? <laughs> payola is, was... It was a thing where they paid DJs to play their songs. Oh, uh, they just called it payola? Yeah, okay. it was also illegal. It's illegal now. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought you were just mis- mispronouncing peyote. What? <laughs> you just had, like... He was doing peyote in the studio? Yeah. Well, he, like, he was in radio for 27 years and shit, and yeah. uh, he doesn't stop talking about it. Because like, that was his life. Yeah. Like, that was his job for so long. This is the... He's starting all over again. He's 58 years old. Um, but he, like, do- he's deaf in one ear because of radio almost. So, like, he doesn't hear very well. He also, like, he doesn't have, like, the tech understanding like everyone else. Yeah. And, uh... Um, Keeps on trying to play records during calls. <laughs> he, uh... He's like, uh... I don't know what you're talking about, but here's <laughs> the latest by Little Wayne. <laughs> He was like a rock DJ. Okay, here's the latest by Coldplay. <laughs> I feel like at, in the end, he started doing like classic rock. Here's the latest by here's Motorhead. The latest <laughs> compilation of the Eagle. Uh, I think he actually was on the Eagle, uh, which is one of our local stations. Oh, they're, uh, at work, they play like, because our manager's like generation x dude oh, yeah. he keeps on playing like the same generation x songs either what pop, generation x pop radio or 80s uh hair metal fun and he's this iheart radio station called slippery when wet oh, oh. disgusting ass title i hate it yeah that's the grossest title for that, that fucking... was that was like very that was a hair metal thing i know but it's nasty i, uh, hate it. I get that the, it would have been worse it was like moist when lubricated <laughs> uh <laughs> I, okay, I, I don't want to get into that just yet. Um, 80s rocker Coke Dick Radio. <laughs> <laughs> this stripper looks like my mom, Radio. Uh, yeah. Uh, my veins are absolutely fucked, Radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the third time my friends OD'd this week, Radio. <laughs> uh, 
But um, my heart's got to stop. Ra- <laughs> stop stopping radio. Um. So he's like old. So sometimes he'll. <laughs> so we have the way we have it set up is like. In order for the teacher to communicate with us, yeah. and the rest to answer questions in class, we have mics on. But the idea is mute yourself until you speak, and then un then like unmute yourself to speak, and then mute yourself again. Yeah. Um. So it doesn't pick up weird sounds and shit because they're like close to your mouth, or like you know you scratch your head, it's like, and everybody hears it. Yeah. So um, sometimes I'll like forget to turn his mic off, and it'll just hear like lip noises or like he's yawning or like coughing and shit uh and like the worst one of the worst things and like we all do it you unmute yourself yeah and you forget to pull your mic down so it's the <laughs> noise uh, of pulling the wait, mic wait have down. you been in the bathroom yet they're they're wired they're attached oh. to the computer <laughs> so it's, it's not, no no none of that none of that no pushing That'd be great but no <laughs> uh so also one of our uh that'd be gold one of our instructors, because we have, like, a another dude who's, like, under the main trainer. Yeah. Or we've had another dude, but it was a lady. But he's under him? Last week. He's, we have a trainer, and then he's, like, under the trainer. Why is he under him? How's he going to help you with class if he's under In him? job hierarchy. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, he has this fancy Bluetooth headset. Yeah. Uh, that apparently the company paid for, and it was, like, 200 bucks, but the audio quality is shit. Like, it sounds like... Is it the worst one? <laughs> I guess, dude. I don't understand it. It's so weird. Like, he has... It's a Bluetooth headset, and it looks all fancy and shit, and they paid so much money for it, but it sounds like absolute trash. And I feel like if you're paying $200 for a Bluetooth anything, it won't sound that bad. Yeah, it's weird. And also, I wonder if it's Bluetooth. If it's, like, just Bluetooth trying to transmit audio live. Yeah. Or if it's, like, would it be better if it was Wi-Fi based? Or yeah. Or, like, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> that was all I had. There's this old dude talking about shit. His mukbang, that's one. Ah. Yeah, but he, uh, also, he has said in the past two weeks, I, probably a hundred times, that he's taking this trip in the middle of October for three days. He does it every year. Uh, and he's, like, in the beginning, we, we were trying to figure out how to, like, take days off and shit, and he kept bringing it up to everybody, and he, like, had to explain it. Also, he's, like, a four-time cancer survivor. No, he says shit. that a lot. <clears throat> but it's, like, it's weird, because, like... I'm, in the middle of October, I'm going to Bangkok to fuck uh, child prostitutes, and that's just... I'm just telling you that yeah. <laughs> before, before we actually start the job. Me and my good I'm, friend... I'm doing a little sex tourism in Asia during <laughs> the middle of October. And <laughs> I'm hitting all of... Uh, Jerry from Subway's Hotspot. We have it all planned out online. If you go on the dark web, they have all the trips figured He's out He's escaping and then going right back to jail afterwards. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope he's not a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> he seems like a cool dude. He's just old. Yeah. And had nothing go. he has nothing going on in his life Yeah. at this point. Like, radio was his life. Yeah. Um, and did he get cancer four times from radio? <laughs> <laughs> was Maybe. it the... Was it the... The towers? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but, like, it was one of those... He never figured it out until, it was like, oh, you got... We're gonna have to retire you. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. You, you can't keep on. <laughs> Basically, he got laid off because of its oh. radio. Oh. Oh, yeah. just radio just being... Yeah, dead. Yeah. And... Because he was already working for iHeartRadio. He was just... Marin doing... did a... Did an episode about that. Radio? The radio DJs having to, to float from job to job due yeah. to the unpredictability Basically, like, of it. <laughs> they he basically he does voiceover work like he does like uh yeah like he reads off yeah commercials and shit and uh like so he uh, basically he like to the mic uh, yeah but basically like by the time he was like getting laid off he was just like doing recordings yeah you would just go in record a show and they would play it like five times throughout the week yeah. or some shit like that and you got paid for it but he was he had been there for so long it was like in his contract. He also got like a year's worth of severance. The only guaranteed job in radio is if you have a partner and you make race jokes. That's literally uh, during the morning drive. That's literally you the only have, guaranteed like, job. You have to already be established with that. Yeah, I know. Like, there's not even local ones anymore. They got rid of all of that. Damn. Like now it's like if you go to any of the radio stations, it's like you got to be Bob Seacrest in the morning. So you like, got to be Bob and Tom. Yeah. You got to be Ryan. The Breakfast Club. You got to yeah. be Power uh, Stern. Hot ninety seven. Yeah. Or what is it? Hot, hot ninety seven. Is it ninety seven or ninety six? It's ninety seven. Or ninety eight. Ninety seven. <laughs> okay. It's ninety one. Uh, I already forgot. My, I lost my train of thought. There's radio. We're talking about radio. Radio. Oh yeah. Uh, so like basically, he had been like 
just doing bullshit and they like yeah. he uh, got like a big severance package he also because severance is like in your contract yeah it's not considered a wage so he drew unemployment and shit uh, so yeah like, i don't know but also like i don't know he's like he did like old radio like he took phone calls and stuff like yeah. he was on that side but like towards the end they were just having you yeah. like he just he started in the 40s right he started radio <laughs> first started like then the 30s yeah yeah he was like doing all the panel shows and all the comedy stuff yeah he uh you know he actually got the turned down operas and the <laughs> he got turned down for war of the worlds <laughs> it was originally his idea he was gonna do it but yeah they thought you know let the vet do it let, let orson do it yeah let the guy who's been around a little bit longer do it um <laughs> Yeah. Dude, it's, uh, I don't know. It's weird. Crazy business. Uh, in the Marin uh, episode was like, he went to a radio station and um, they started making fun of podcasts and so he started making fun of radio. Oh, for and real. And then he had like to a, but he got like clearly more hateful in the way he was making fun of radio. <laughs> Marin. Yeah. Uh, he'll take anything personally. And then he like had to apologize. <laughs> And then he met Phil Henry, who was a real radio dude. Yeah, he's on. He does a radio, po- internet radio podcast, something like that these days. Yeah, but his thing is that he pranks people by doing a fake radio show, because it's he's he doesn't actually take calls. It's all him. He just does voices and improvs himself. Oh, he does show. fake calls. Yes, like he calls into himself. Yes. And, okay. He does that's a voice. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like hello, this is, and that's that that type of stuff. Yeah. You know, that's the way radio is gonna stay alive. Yeah, it's through that. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. He's taking a quick drink of water. You were actually in time. Yeah, with my <laughs> with my sips uh, and my gulps. That was interesting. Um. All right. So we had a topic we're gonna talk about. Yeah, <clears throat> I haven't seen the video. Yes, but Except I have for like a clip you showed me. And Black Radio's been talk Black Radio Black Twitter yeah. has been talking about it for a while. Dude, is it weird? Okay, because my girlfriend asked me if I had seen about it, and we were talking about it, and I was like, "Yeah, Black Twitter had like a field day apparently." Is yeah. it weird if I call it Black Twitter? No. <clears throat> okay. As long as you don't call it anything else, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. It's not like Negro Twitter. Negro <laughs> Twitter was having a field. Ne- <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> I don't know why you censored yourself saying it in, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do we just sound that much alike? Huh? Do we just sound that much alike? Do you think that... <laughs> we don't sound anything alike. <laughs> Sometimes we do. I feel like... Really? I feel like if I talk like this, because I'm talking... I'm not talking like with my, my yeah. voice. I'm not, I'm not stoning it up right now. Yeah. Um, I'm like lessening... No, there it goes. <laughs> that was the water leaving my throat. And now I'm back to the rasp. <laughs> I feel like I could. I feel like I have. A You're not in Steve-O voice. voice. You're yeah. <laughs> now you told me to listen to Steve-O's podcast. Oh yeah, Eric Andre was on it. Yeah, he I also listen- just did Hot Ones too. I listened to half of it. Yeah, and uh, just annoying. Uh, Steve-O's not funny. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's not a comedian. No, and he's, he kind of stumped. <laughs> he, it's just I don't know. He kind of what? He's just just kind of dry. Yeah, Eric's all right. Eric's yeah. funny, but. I mean, I like it because I want to see Steve-O do well. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Already get down. <laughs> what? My dog was sitting next to me, and I'm covered in fur already. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I have cat hair on me from my girlfriend's house, so. <clears throat> Is that because that five-minute hug you gave when you came in? To me? Yeah. To you? Is that is why I got those shoes? <laughs> the joke. Ah. I don't know if you know this, podcast listeners, but uh, our formal greeting is to uh, tongue kiss yeah. for four minutes. Yeah. Exactly four minutes, not a second longer, not a second over. If we go over or under, we have to start over. Yeah. We have to, like, exit the rooms we're in, come back in. It's a whole deal. It's a ritual. It's this weird, like, tele- telepathic, like, twin OCD Jeez. thing we have. Look at all this. What? It's floating. I can see it. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the same angle as you do. Fudge, man. <clears throat> You could uh, you could uh, not do this while we were recording. Yeah, I feel like you uh, could have paused it. <laughs> yeah, I could have. Um, dude, I I feel like I have a pretty good radio voice. Mm. I think we should do fake radio for a bit. Like, I think we should like do we should write an entire radio show, like a show. All three hours. <clears throat> no, like we should write. Let's play copyrighted songs. <laughs> we should write a an episode. A radio opera. 
and we'll do we'll act like radio hosts yeah. for like however long as yeah. many gags as we can come up with yeah like I, like airplane like airplane yeah what do you mean? gags like an airplane oh like sight gags no just like gags just jokes <laughs> okay I thought there was it's been a while <laughs> Also, I don't think I've ever seen Airplane in its entirety. Oh my god, you haven't seen Airplane? Not in its entirety. I've seen, like, bits and pieces. It's on Netflix right now. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've never... I, I don't remember if... Because I, I told you about that uh, paper I wrote. No? What paper did you write? That I opened uh, with the first line from... Well, the nah, kind of the first line of uh, the Jerry. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> like, when he does... After you get the intro and everything, when he's like... <clears throat> I was born a poor black man or whatever. Poor black child. Poor black child. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I started that. Yeah, you. I, I started a paper with that. You should watch Airplane. Okay. It's one of the best comedies ever made. Yeah. It is just gags. The folk plot around it. <clears throat> Does. <clears throat> okay. Do you remember Soul Plane? Yeah. How do you feel about Soul Plane? It's not black airplane. If that's what you're thinking. It's just a movie. It it it's the sense of humor is very different. Oh yeah. And nor is it like it's not even like Wayne's Brothers did, which pretty much did the airplane method on, but with like their version with like black jokes in it. Huh? It's not even Wayne's Brothers technique. Oh, okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because it wasn't the Wayne's Brothers. You're, like you're you're comparing airplane to what the Wayne's brothers do. Yeah, because essentially the what they did, did to airplane, yeah, was was very similar to what the Zucker brothers did with okay with airplane. But what with airplane, but just in almost all their work. It just it's the the idea is a black dude buying a, uh, an airplane with wait, his wait, 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 settlement. Wait. <coughs> wait, did the Wayne's brothers make Soul Plane? No, so I said. <laughs> Okay, but what are you talking about? I'm saying Soul Plane is not like Airplane at all. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's just about it's about an. But a, did the Wayans brothers make a movie involving an airplane? No. Okay, right. just the way you were talking about it confused me. I'm saying the Wayans brothers is a very similar technique to Zucker Brothers. Okay. Which is that they have a plot, a parody of a movie, <laughs> and then some gags around it. Okay. Like, don't don't be a menace to society while drinking your juice in the hood. Yes. Scary so, movie one and two. Is that the right title? Yes. What about three, four, and five? Huh? They didn't make those. They didn't make the those. Zuckers took off, took really? over after that. Yeah. Really? Except five. I don't know who made that. But. Wait, wait, wait. So the Zuckers are still doing shit? Uh, they used to. I don't know what they're still working together right now. But they, the creators of Airplane. Yes. Did scary movie three, four, and five? No, three, four. Three and four. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy that, the Wayans Brothers property. Yes was taken over by their major influence. Their what? Their major influence. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's yeah. interesting. What what other shit did the Zuckers do that's like modern? Uh one of the Zuckers who turned conservative made a movie called American Movie, I believe. Okay. Starring Chris Farley's brother as the lead. Oh yeah. And he goes to uh, it's a wonderful life but like with conservative celebrities or whatever. Oh. You can look it up. <laughs> that sounds bad. It is not worth watching. Not even to make fun you of. You need to get down. Uh, I don't know if it's worth making fun of or not. Uh, it's a bad comedy, so who knows? Um, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, we're we talking about Will Smith again. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, we got that was a major aside. Yes. That was a whoo. Damn. All right. Woo. Ah. No. <laughs> uh. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, uh, a couple weeks ago, a or a week ago, something like that, uh, a R&B singer named August Cena mm-hmm. said in an interview with, with Breakfast Club's Angela Lee Yee that he had an affair, Wait, well, yeah. a relationship. What's her name? Angela Yee. Yee? Yee, yeah. Oh, you said Lee, and then you I corrected. said Yee, I just said it weirdly. Yee? Yes. Is it spelled like Y E I? Because I understand pronouncing it that way. It's no, it's just spelled that way. W E E. That's just Y E E. I don't know why I said W. It's W H T T P colon forward <laughs> yeah. slash forward slash dot com. <laughs> uh, stock dot nasdaq dot com. Yeah. It's that's uh, the uh, that's the LimeWire file name. Is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> of of the video on LimeWire. It's the uh, file name. Okay. I thought that was no. Nah, I don't. I don't know my <laughs> Oh, that was before your time. Um, or I just didn't use it no. ever. <laughs> yeah, you should have noticed. Um, Angela Yee had an interview with yeah. uh, Alex Asina, and he talked about how he had a relationship 
with uh, Jada Pinkett Smith that she that he said Will Smith approved of. Is it Pinkett or Pickett? It's Pinkett. Really? I've never known that. All right. Uh, but I'm about to pick at her, so <laughs> I'm about to okay. pick it, Jada. I'm about to pick at Jada. I'm about to attack Jada Pinkett Smith with a pick at. <laughs> you can quote me on that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, so they had a, a relationship. Yeah. Like, not just an affair. Well, it's... It is an affair, but they had a relationship. It, well, it's, it's not an affair. He, the, he said it was an affair, and Wait, also who they said... said it, who said it was an affair? No, he, well, he said it was... Who? A, sorry. Let me talk. <laughs> he... Who let is me he? clarify my... August Asina. Okay, that's what I need to know. Jesus. There's um, two he's in this situation. Uh, well, <laughs> neither of them really said it was an affair. I think Will said it was... There, that he didn't give approval and that it happened while they were on a break. Yeah. In the uh, Red Table Talk interview we're going to watch. Because he didn't, at that point, if they're in a break, he doesn't have to give her approval because it's not his thing to approve. Yeah. They're they're on a break. But he, August Cena said that Will yeah. gave approval. Okay. And also he says that he has love for the entire Smith family and uh, he can die today and feel happy that he finally gave himself to someone. And that okay. was his relationship with oh. Jada Pinkett Smith. And they, um, and initially the Smiths denied it. Yeah. Jada Pinkett denied it. And then she tweeted, it's time to clear the air. I'm bringing myself to the red table talk. <laughs> Dude, that, why is that table all beat up? A lot of people, there's been a lot of talks at it. That's why. I know, but like, yo, you should have, it. You, you got fucking Will Smith money. You should have a clean you cleaning it table. after every episode? Yeah. Why? Because, dude. Who cares? I care, table. Man. <laughs> it looks like shit. It's all dinged up and shit, man. Who cares? You can do better than that. What if they want a punk rock aesthetic? (laughs) Dinged up table. Uh, that's that's my band name. (laughs) Um, so we playing this? Yeah. Okay. This is my first time watching this. Yeah, I've seen this already. Does it always start that quiet? I don't watch the show. Oh, okay. We're watching the Red Table Talk with Jada and Will talking about what happened. Um, you could hear her hands. (laughs) Did you hear that? No. It made a little noise. Yeah. Will, his eyes are in... He looks like him in crying. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. Will Every- Smith smoke weed? Huh? You think Will Smith smokes weed? I don't know. Nah. I know you want. I know you want that so bad. It's like it'd be cool if somebody smoked weed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nah, he looks like he's crying. He was crying. Yeah. He's like biting his lip. I don't like how many affirming noises he makes. He's listening. <laughs> he's not gonna stop. <laughs> you could hear the pain in that one. He's sad, dude. I, it feels like some of this is like cut out. Hmm? Yeah, it's edited. It, yeah, it's like heavily edited. It seems like every episode is most likely heavily edited. <laughs> it's not the raw uncut footage. I know, but what do you think is in the raw uncut footage? Him yelling? <laughs> nah. Him actually crying? Yeah. And her being callous about it or something? <laughs> Cause she she's like, she looks a little stressed out. She doesn't look like she's been crying. You think they've talked to their kids about this shit already? I don't know. Hit stop. Pause. Is that... It started... Is that why Jaden's so... Like, August was friends with Jaden. How old is August? Uh, it's like 26. Oh, okay. And he was hanging out with a 14-year-old. Because <laughs> it was four years ago. Yeah. I don't actually know how old Jaden Smith is. I actually don't know how old Jaden is. I, I don't care either. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, he's 22. Oh, no shit. All right. Then yeah. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So he's like... Yeah, about a year younger. Than you? Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait. You're 23, right? Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. I remembered your birthday and I was like, he turned 22 or 23? Yeah. This whole past, like, two years has been like... He was born a year after me. A blur. So, yeah. On your birthday, actually. What? Oh, shit. He just turned 22. Yeah. What's today's day? Uh, 12th of July. Yeah, it's like a couple days ago he turned no 22. Shit. All right, yeah. It's just... He's sickly. Oh, he, he's got like health problems, right? Yeah. He's like dying. <laughs> he's tubercular and <laughs> tubercular? Yeah. Is that actually the term? Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. It'd be funny if you like read the dictionary, uh, learned about things. If I just like <laughs> had a better understanding of the world, yeah. Yeah, if yeah, for reference. That'd be points, real funny, yeah. man. We should do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should read the dictionary too. Yeah, tuck well, me in at night. Yeah. I will tuck you in and read the dictionary. <laughs> well, I drink a glass of warm milk. <laughs> yeah, I will breastfeed you. <laughs> okay, great. It describes how they got separated. Yeah, they. Yeah. Damn. 
There's more anger in that. What would you do, Jada? Yeah. Than he's like now. <laughs> Plus, she clarified that she gave permission <laughs> because they were on a break. Yeah. There's no permission from Will or whatever. Yeah. And, like, Will Will understands that, it seems. Yeah, obviously. Because, like, yeah, what do you do at that point? Like, you can't, if you're yeah. separated, it's not your call. Exactly. Um, if it was, like, a polyamorous thing yeah. or, like, an open relationship Apparently thing. Apparently it's a rumor for years that they've been polyamorous and shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe like, they're just taking a lot of breaks. Yeah, maybe. How long have they been together? And uh, maybe this just proves my point that maybe if they have been polyamorous, they don't work out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. You're in this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you. That's the only reason I want to talk <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. I, yeah. wish, I wish you would start beef. Mm, what? With the poly community? Yeah. Beef? I've already got the beef. I ain't, I, really? I don't give a shit. Jesus, man. You think I care? God damn. All it does is leave people hurt. And, um... I feel like on August's side, it's a, a way to explain the situation simply. To say, I, we were in a relationship that Will knew about. Instead yeah. of airing all their business, yeah. it's a simple way to put it. But it also could imply Maybe. polyamory. Yeah. Or an open relationship or whatever. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know. But also, I was talking to my girlfriend about this. Also, people believe that Will either had an affair with or once had an affair with Charlize Theron and Margot Robbie. Because okay. I think it's based, I don't know about the Charlize Theron thing, but people, because he starred in two movies where he had a lot of chemistry with oh, Margot okay. Robbie. Yeah. Like this one movie where they were, were con artists or whatever. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then uh, and in uh, Suicide Squad, they were in Suicide Squad together. Wait, Will Smith was in Suicide yes. Squad? I didn't know He was that. Deadshot. He was who? Deadshot. It's a DC okay. villain. Oh, okay. He was like a really good marksman. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And she was obviously uh, Harley Quinn. Yeah, okay. And uh, there's like, people believe because they have such chemistry they had to have, they've had to have an affair or something like that. Now, you can have good chemistry with, yeah. like, they're, like, look at, uh, fuck, like, who was it? Uh, you close to the mic. Sorry, I keep doing that. It's more comfy over here. Um, <clears throat> was We're going to uh, break our backs until we can get gamer chairs to do this fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, what, like, Matt Damon and, uh... Ben Affleck. Matt yeah. Damon and Ben Affleck have good chemistry. Yeah, they have good chemistry. We have good chemistry. Yeah. We bit off each other well. That's the whole reason we started this podcast. I, uh, I'm good at chemistry. I make the blue meth. <laughs> yeah, I am bad at math. That's why we're in debt to our, you know, suppliers. Yeah. Um, you, cu- you say bitch all the time. <laughs> yeah. I also love Gatorade. <laughs> You have a girlfriend who I killed, <laughs> who, yeah, I, yeah. who I'm kind of indirectly responsible for the death of, because yeah. I ignore. And that girlfriend did live in an apartment in 20... Uh, 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 what? I lost it. I'm sorry. The par- Admitting apartment... Apartment 23? Yeah, was, was that a joke, you? yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, take a mem- let's take a moment to remember that Eric Andre was in that show. Yeah. And now him and James Vanderbeek are best friends. Are you sure about that? 100%. Nope. Damn, dude. Jesus. Pause. See, so you just used the term that everyone's been making fun of her for using. What? She described the relationship with August as an entanglement. Yeah. Which she is, was entangled in his like IV cords and stuff when he was in the hospital. Yeah, and she could, and Will's like a relationship, and like yeah. Will, and he's like, oh, what's an entanglement? Like yeah. really, Jada? Yeah. Like it was a real, really, you're really just making making shit up now, and just yeah. making up terms so you don't have to face the fact of what it really was. Yeah, I get that. Hold up. <clears throat> he describes himself as being in a Jada position. Oh, yeah. Because typically on her show, she confronts people. Oh, so, okay. Like, one time she had she had Snoop Dogg on. Yeah. Like, the other iconic moment for her show was uh-huh. when she had Snoop Dogg on. I think he said something that she thought was, like, an anti-black woman. Oh, okay. Noir. Yeah. Noir. Have you ever pronounced it? Yeah, and, you got it right. And uh, he, he, um, uh, she said, not not Snoop Dogg, not Snoop Dogg. I saw that and I was like, my heart broke. Not Snoop Dogg. And that was and that was the iconic moment of did, the show. Did Snoop Dogg like did Snoop Dogg? I didn't watch. I didn't did watch. Did he redeem episode. himself? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 
So when he says that he was putting himself in Jada position, he got fucked by August as well before they made this show just to just to get himself <laughs> on you know, the prepared on yeah. equal equal footing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now they're footing. even. Yeah. Now they're even. Yeah, I know you felt. <laughs> Damn, they really has a problem. She cured his diseases. M- medicinal pussy. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that Reggie pussy. No, it's that. That's, ma- that, <laughs> that's that government pussy. Yep, yeah. he got the pussy card. <laughs> Otherwise known as the pink card. <laughs> In legal states, all the states, except Utah. Pause. He's using humor. Yeah. To hide the pain. Yeah. That is, that's such an obviously. And then she got a little bothered when he used the word transgression in uh, the bit. Okay. Also, like he's not super funny hmm? in general, right? He's not like that funny anymore. He's never been a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Just a dude who. He likes to jump around. Just a, he's just a dude. He's not a dude. You know, he's a movie star and everything. But he's, he's like, he's like exactly as the Fresh Prince. The Fresh. He was exactly like the character of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. Sorry, I keep like words, man. Yeah. Words are hard. He um, he's just. He's a good comedic actor. Yeah. But you, he's not a comedian. If you write the joke, he can. And I thought that that was funny. I did think that was funny. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think it was that. Un- I did like the voice. Pass. Yeah. I did like the voice. Yeah. He's, uh, like, you know, there's, a, there's another joke at the end. Yeah. That is so clearly him pretending, them both pretending like they're not bothered by all this. Shit. Let's get to, let's get to that. She kind of looks like an elf. Okay. <laughs> Just the ears. Yeah. Yeah. Pass. She had a relationship with with Tupac, and the people kept on bringing that up when the story first broke. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Okay. Like, before Will. <clears throat> yeah. And they were still close after the relationship. And, uh, and while she was first dating Will, and Will has talked about it in, like, Breakfast Club interviews and stuff like that, that, he, yeah, he felt a little jealous with Pac. He didn't hate Pac, but he yeah, did feel a little I mean, jealous about how close they were. It's kind of cool, because it's like, yeah, it's Pac, but, right? Like, no, it's not. It's cool, but, like, if you were in that, that situation, it wouldn't feel cool, would it? Yeah. But also, like... Like, no. Like, even if it was one of your your heroes, like, if it was, like, Henry Wallens, uh, had a relationship with your girl while you were on a break, would it feel cool? <laughs> no, because he's not... He's talked about... He's, like, really not, like, good at relationships. Would it would it feel cool if uh, a big, by all accounts, more masculine than you, Henry Wallace, <laughs> big muscly, uh, he's not uh, super muscular, book anymore. book re- book reading, uh, he's <laughs> like, he's Henry like Rollins, kind of skinny nowadays. He's still pretty muscular. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. He's, he's more right. alpha needed. Not a lie to myself. I mean, maybe, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Music legend, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Generally likable persona. <laughs> Every uh, Yeah, no, but also, I don't know. It's weird. It would have been weird, but you, you, like, I don't know. Your girlfriend? No way. Actually, no. Oh, I was, I was imagining too. Well, if you're on a break, would you even see your partner? Possibly. It depends. Yeah. It depends on the people, and it depends on the situation. Like, Just a break, not a breakup. A break. <laughs> I mean, are you asking me personally? Uh-huh. <clears throat> I mean, it also it depends on what the break's for. Yeah. Also, I'm at a point in my life where I don't know if I would be taking breaks. Yeah. Because, like, I just, you know, there's no point. It's, well, you were talking. <laughs> no, I was finished with my point. Yeah. Um, no, no. Him just, like, you meeting who she's dating while you're on the break or whatever. And then Harry Wallen's giving you, like, a, a firm handshake and shit. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, I guess it's different if you're married. Yeah. You know? Because, like. Yeah. You can you can take a break yeah. for a longer period of time if you're married. Wait, was that him on that cover of that Black Flag album, Smashing the Mirror? No, apparently that was their bassist. I think. Ah, uh, okay. Um, what's his name? Uh, shit. Uh, Jason Derula <laughs> at Rasmus House. He corrected me on that once, so I think uh. it, I think it was the bassist, and I think that's stuck in my head now because he corrected me once. Okay. <laughs> um, um, but he had hair. Yeah. Rollins, he didn't shave his head until, like, recently. Yeah. He had hair back in the 80s. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's play. Turn it up. Turn it up a little more. Turn it up on the, on the computer. 
Okay. Turn up a little bit more. I'm sorry. Uh, it's very low. <clears throat> I can't. I have a hard time hearing, like, like talking when I hear myself too much. Is that loud enough? Hmm? Is that loud enough? Yeah. It's a little too loud for me. All right. Got to turn it down just a tad. How's that? Yeah. Okay. It was just, like, one step over the line. It, like, hurt a little bit. Yeah. Pause. People on Twitter do that thing that I th I've been talking about. People stretching the limits of what grooming actually is. Yeah. <laughs> Where they've been calling her a groomer because she dated a dude in his early 20s. I don't know if that's grooming, man. It's not. You're an adult at that point. Yeah. Like. And you can find it gross. Yeah, which you is can fine. find it gross, but like, you know, yeah. it's not. Grooming is like when they're a little kid. Yeah. Or like a, a preteen. Yeah. Uh, or uh, an actual... Let me ask, is there a gender difference of how gross it is to you? What? Like, if it's between <laughs> her and her late 40s dating a dude in his early 20s, and a dude <coughs> dating in, in, in his, his late, late 40s. 40s. Yeah. <clears throat> there is an initial reaction that is gender. Something I'm working on. Because um, initially, in my brain, it's a little gross. Um, I think... I think I shouldn't look at it as gross, but I should look at it as situationally. If it is gross, it's gross. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's a famous dude. She's a married famous woman. Yeah. But she, they're on a break, so. I, I mean, it's not, not even like the situation. Like, yeah. It, it's like uh, there's a little bit of a power thing too. Yeah. But that wasn't the situation. Like it seems like they were very genuine. It wasn't like a fling. What about Zach Braff dating uh, the lady from Midsummer? <laughs> What do you think about that? I, I don't really care. About Bambi from Scrubs dating. Uh, if it was Dr. Cox, it'd be weird. <laughs> it, since it's, uh, the, since it's, like... The lead? <laughs> no, nah, since it's... Garden State? What, do you, what what are you thinking? Since it's the Skips... Huh? What's the band? The Skids. What's Ooh. the band? From what? Garden State. The <laughs> Fuck. I need to set the strokes. I know it's not it. Yeah, it's not the strokes. It... There's, uh, there's like one song I love from that band. I don't even know a song by that band, but I was gonna make one of those jokes. Uh, uh, damn, I can't find it. The uh, the skips, the skids, <laughs> the skins. Is it the skins? I think it's. Oh, why are you looking on Spotify and not just like looking up Garden State? Because I'm gonna see to the, the song and be reminded of the song I'm thinking of. Uh, fuck it. Here, hold on. Method Man's on Garden State. I didn't know that. The Shins. Yes, yeah, it. Fuck. Alright. He'd already been married. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They didn't date until after that marriage, though. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> they believed it. Yeah, they believed it. You know, I really. <clears throat> I don't like the silent bleep. It's annoying. You know, it kind of, it just, it, it freaks me out. It's like, oh, is audio bad? Also, this is a, it's like a very adult conversation. It's not like they, not cursing every five seconds, but really bleeping it. Really. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not me, like they're saying like horrendous shit. Like yeah. they're, you're being very. Uh, I just like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of yeah. the silent bleep. Even in music, I kind of remember the like in the '90s and like early 2000s where they'd play like a, a gunshot yeah. over a word or something. I like that. Yeah. At least get creative with it, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Right. <laughs> he looked real angry. Oh, oh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> hmm. You remember, uh, you know, like, Good Mythical Morning and shit, right? Yeah, I don't watch it, though. Yeah, but, like, Rhett and Link? Yeah. He looks like... Uh, Rhett... Wait, which one's... I don't know. <laughs> the tall one. All right. Without... He looks like... The tall one. Yeah. Looks like Will Smith, kind of, in the face. Oh, uh, the tall one looks like a white Will Smith? <laughs> kind of, yeah. They're sort also of. similar in, you know, their family-friendly comedy. Maybe. Pops. Yeah. <coughs> that I'm gonna kinda, get you back. I'm gonna get you back. That kind of does imply. That he might have. He might have, yo. Maybe, maybe Margot Robbie stuff is true. Maybe yeah, your people maybe, are right. Maybe even Mendez. I mean. Maybe as, every woman that he's been in a movie with. 
Uh, maybe uh, maybe he's like this is what this is for August. Every woman I've ever <laughs> maybe this is uh, an orgy in the living room. <laughs> maybe uh, what's her uh, name? Uh, what was his aunt's name in Fresh Prince? Aunt Viv. Yeah, maybe Aunt Viv. Which maybe one? Maybe Uncle Phil. <laughs> Which one? Oh, which Aunt Viv? The second one. Yeah, because the first one don't like him. <laughs> the second one don't get along with anybody from the cast. Oh yeah, that's what that was. Because they fired her, uh, and then none of them had her back. So maybe. Which I can't blame her for. Maybe, uh, maybe Carlton. Maybe Alfonso. <laughs> Alfonso. Alfonso was post. Uh, they they talked about it on another episode of the show. Alfonso uh, knew Jada Pinkett and was posting. Took him to the. She was on a different world at the time. Oh oh, back in the day. Yeah. They knew each other. She okay. was supposed to introduce. He was supposed to introduce Will to Jada Pinkett on the set of uh, a different world. Really. And he ended up meeting his first wife instead. Who? Oh. Will. Will. Oh no shit. Yeah. Small world. Yeah. Small different world. <laughs> Small. Oh uh, yeah. Small 90s black Hollywood. Yep. Because it, it literally was. There was a lot. 90s black Hollywood had a lot of sitcoms. Yeah, you're right. It's crazy. What's the name? The golden age of black sitcoms. You can't, you can't name them all. We're going to I, uh, Hanging Mr. Hooper, Fresh Prince, Family Matters, uh, Martin. Living Single. Modern Family? What? what you I said Martin. Martin, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, South Central? I think it was the name of the show. Brandy. South Central. Brandy. Yep. Um, Smart guy. Smart guy. Yeah. Uh, T and Tamara. Sister, sister. Sister, sister. Um, mm. This is the 90s, right? That's all I got. Enough of that air filling exercise. Let's get back yeah. to the show. Um, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant let's get back to the show. Yeah. You meant let's let's get back to the show. And let's finish this. And like play yeah. the show. Okay, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was kind of funny. The petty shit. I'll get you back. It's about it's about me getting you back. <laughs> See? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have a bad marriage. It's the truth. Dog, that was kind of funny. You think they did? They just did that together? Like what? That was just like a. Improv? Yes. That was cute. Yeah, that was clearly really, improv. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, so the way you explained that to me, I thought he made the joke. Yeah. They made the joke together. Yeah. Okay. The way you said it... But it does it. seem like... It's not like a good sign, though. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you shouldn't really joke about that. Bad like, marriage for shit. life. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like a reference. and then, Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. It's not my problem. Also, I was talking to my girlfriend about this. Like, she was talking about how she feels bad for them. And, like, everybody knowing their business and shit. And yeah. Like, I just don't... I, I don't feel bad I mean, they're celebrities. celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I think about it. You, like, you made an agreement to be in the public eye. And, like, not even that. Like, yeah, you made an agreement to be in the public eye, but also, like, you know, if you keep your... You can keep your business to yourself. They didn't reveal it. August yeah. did. <laughs> but, you know, they don't have to talk about this shit. But, um, at the same time, like... Yeah, but she has this. I, she already had this for years. I disagree with people giving a shit about celebrities as much as they do. Yeah. I think it's stupid. Um, but since people care so much about celebrities, they care about this shit. Yep. And, and so we're talking be, about it. Yeah, so... I'm not... I don't I, feel bad. Listen, the next episode probably won't be about celebrity gossip. But yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't feel bad about it. It's also Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. Who is the last celebrity you expect to hear some shit like this about. Yeah, but it's on him. And it's not him cheating. Yeah. Because we were talking about, I don't think that he would be the type to cheat. Or maybe with Margaret Robbie. I don't know. Who knows? And who knows? I don't care, to yeah. be honest with you. You you do care. That's <laughs> why you, you're just pretending like you don't care by going, I don't care. No. That's like the end of it. No, but you care. Um, I care about, <laughs> okay, the only thing um, I care about is the fact that I don't have as much money as them. Yeah. That bothers me. <laughs> that's, that's what I care about. Yeah. I wish people gave a shit about my relationship and would pay me money to do interviews about it. <laughs> you know, fuck. Yeah. Same. Um, a grand. I would take a grand right now in a heartbeat. Just talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I would genuinely, my price to suck a dick is like at about five grand right now, which is pretty low. Yeah, low balling it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, here's the thing. I would give my all in that dick. I'm getting no low would balls. Be, it would be low balling. Those little balls Those would be in my mouth. would be hanging. <laughs> is that what that means? Huh? 
when they say when rappers and shit talk about what they're not saying what i think it's like like i think it means i'm like going all out my masculinity like i'm, I'm showing off <laughs> i thought it was like i have enough sex that my balls are droopy i don't think that's what it means because i i've nutted recently nuts hang no that's not giving your all if the nuts are hanging Huh? The nuts gotta be in your mouth. If not. <laughs> your own mouth? No. If you're sucking the dick, the nuts gotta be in your mouth. No, no. Your giving... nuts will be hanging. Their nuts will yeah, hang Yeah, but that's afterwards. not giving. That's not giving your your all. Oh, oh, afterwards? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, once it's done. Yeah, that's they'll be dr- they'll be <coughs> drained. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I thought it meant. Yeah. Uh-huh. Going into the joke. Are you looking it up? Yeah, I'm looking up. <laughs> Urban dicks nuts hang. Urban dicks <laughs> there. Okay, to not care, to be able to let your guard down. Oh, okay. I get you. That was kind of funny. All right, then I give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, like, because you can step on your own balls at that point. Like, <laughs> if they're hanging, like, you don't care. Like, hmm? Yeah, he's good. He's not loud. I don't know where she is. I don't know if she went upstairs or what. Probably, yeah. It's fine. It looked Thanks. like she ran down the steps earlier. Yeah. Uh... But yeah. Yeah. Like, you know that thing in the summer when you, like, sit on your balls a lot? What? You ever no. sit on your balls? No. You've never sat on your balls? No. Damn, dude. Lucky you. <clears throat> dude, it sucks. <clears throat> you over here uh, on the porch like uh, the dog from uh, Joe Dirt? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that shit. What happened to that lady? Which The dog? lady that I'm owned the dog. the dog whose nuts were stuck. Yeah, but porch. the lady that owned the dog. The humping dog? Huh? There's a different dog. There's a humping dog sequence. What are you talking about? The lady that owned the dog whose nuts got hung. Or that... Hmm? Hold on. Let me let me start over. The lady who owned the dog whose nuts got stuck to the porch I f- I in don't the know. sea inside the hole. I don't know. The hole in the middle of the sea. No. Nah. Bottom of the sea. Uh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> the girth? Yeah. I didn't have the girth. Yep. Will Smith got a skinny penis. <laughs> is what is what I it was what I've gleaned from this. Will Smith has a skinny penis. And that's penis. why she slept with August. <laughs> yeah. He got that thick boy. He got a pe- pencil dick. <laughs> yeah. It's long, but it's thin. Yeah. <laughs> <I'd> play. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Girth is a weird thing to say in that point, right? That doesn't even make sense. Um, I don't know. Because girth is like, uh, yeah. Diametric distance. Yeah. No, you mean distance of time. <clears throat> no, unless you believe time is circular. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> okay. And then they both cried, but especially Will after yeah. it ascended. They go to their separate bedrooms. Yep. They go to their exactly. different houses. Yep. <clears throat> uh, he, like, she I, got an earful shortly after this. Yeah. She won't be seen for another month because she's healing a black eye. Jesus Christ, yeah. come down. Yeah, that was where the joke went. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I feel like they might get divorced soon. Uh, yeah. If I, if I was placing bets on celebrity marriages... Right, let me find this, this tweet that I saw. I, I think they're going to get a divorce soon. I'm 100% on that. Yeah. I would say within the next year and a half, they'll get a divorce. You want to bet? Uh, you take that? No, I don't okay. really like taking bets, but... What, what do you think the odds are? Where would you place the odds? Now, Jesus Christ, what are you talking about? Um, uh, also, your headphones are in the wrong ears. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Um, for stereo, you found this tweet. Where is it? Okay, here it is. A guy said on Twitter, uh, SQ at SQ Eternal, he said, Jada is masterful at weaponizing the language of healing and emotional awareness to represent to present the facade of introspection, reflection, all for the purpose of evading accountability. Can I read that? No, okay, yeah. 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 <clears throat> she kind of did avoid it. She did do some, like, self-help language. Yeah. So, entanglement and shit. Yeah. Um, That's why people call her future after the interview came out. Damn. Call her female future and shit. I just, like, man, I just, I don't so, know. A lot of people do this, whether they realize it or not. It's easy to fall into the trap of using buzzwords without actually dealing with things meaningfully. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm guilty of that myself. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm honest. <laughs> you're never wrong. Yep. <laughs> You're a perfect person. With no flaws and no hang-ups. Also, okay, let me talk about this. The last thing before you end the show. Okay. <laughs> um, food Insider, a Twitter account where they talk about food and restaurants and stupid shit. <laughs> Usually gold 
people making gold foods for no reason. Uh, dipping yeah. foods in gold for absolutely yeah, no reason. Yeah, I don't understand. That's like some rich people shit. Yeah, uh, this restaurant in New York uh, made chopped up a watermelon so it looked like a bit, so it looked like a uh, smoked ham. Yeah, mm. that's the thing. People smoke watermelon. Why? It's better than Reggie. Does it taste good? The, uh, so people smoke watermelon. And, okay, it was a weed joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but people smoke watermelon as a means to make like barbecue and shit. I've seen that. Yeah, but they're literally just eating the watermelon. What do you mean? They're smoking the watermelon gen- than just eating it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's why? a meat alternative, man. Like, it's just a meat alternative. No, why would you do this? Why does it need to look like food? <coughs> why does it need to look like meat? It's not that it needs to look like meat. It's that it does look like meat. Because it has, like, a fleshiness to it. So it works. Yeah, but they're intentionally making it look like... I mean, how else are you going to eat something that tastes like ham? Does it taste like ham, though? The uh, smoked watermelon tastes like ham. Possibly. It tastes like melon. I, I don't know I about think that. it tastes like, oh, it's just cooked melon. This is cooked fruit. That's all I can I don't imagine know, it tasting like. Dude, I had some I had some uh, barbecue jackfruit the, like last week that tasted like meat. Well, it didn't taste like meat, but it tasted like barbecue. I don't know. Because like once you smoke it, it loses that like sweetness. The it the host the... the host of the show. Yeah. Of this little internet show, she's like, "There's a restaurant who has a weird questioning Tony and Tony. There's a restaurant in New York that smokes watermelon, huh?" And then she goes, there, she eats it, and she just, she's eating it with a weird questioning face, like chewing while still making a weird face, like, "Huh, this is curious." <laughs> like, I don't know why. I've never had it, but I, I know people do it. It's a means to like. I don't know, there's, like, I eat barbecue tofu. Here's an idea. But I don't make it look like barbecue. I don't know. And when I say barbecue tofu, I just fry tofu and then put barbecue sauce on it. And it, it tastes nice. It's like a way to consume something. All right, let me find the, the tweet I'm looking for. But also, like, there is this weird trend of, like, people that want to replace meats. Vegan food can really, this is the tweet, vegan food can, can be really good, but the obsession with making a shitty version of stuff like barbecue and pizza saying it's good is embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, you're not going to replace something. No. <laughs> to me, like... The original meat is always going to taste better. <laughs> Let's just not kid ourselves. Because it's the meat. Yeah. The, the thing is, is why, as a vegetarian or a vegan, do you want to eat something that is like meat? Yeah. Like, at that point, just eat meat. It's like, that vegan barbecue place actually looks good, but it's the whole, this teppa is better than a real rack of ribs feels like cope. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's better than. Yeah. I say, I like to think of it as an alternative to... Yeah. I mean, at one time we did go to, uh, what's that Mexican place? Which one? L- Lucha some. Oh, Taco Luchador? Ta- Taco Luchador. Yeah, what about it? Uh, you gave me some of your, uh... Oh, that sandwich? Yeah. That torta, yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah, but it didn't taste like meat. No. Because it wasn't meat. Yeah. It wasn't meant to be a meat alternative. No. It was a vegetable sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good, though. <laughs> what's, that, what's in that again? Uh, I was like... It was like the cheese, uh, there's like cheese, avocado, uh, I don't know if it was avocado slices or just guac, I'm not 100%. Uh, cheese, avocado, black beans, uh, like, uh, I don't know how they cook it. it sweet plantains. Yeah. Um, corn salsa, or maybe just corn, I don't remember. Yeah. And like some other, like, accoutrements. I don't know if I'm using that correctly, actually. Yeah. This has been 2004 Podcast Odyssey. A, uh, who you knows if the Smiths marriage is gonna survive? Uh, there's a marriage that won't go out. Bad marriage for life. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. Yeah. Bye.